Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a preview of the brand new Tier 10 German battleship Mecklenburg. Now the Mecklenburg is a battleship armed with 16 305mm guns arranged in four quadruple turrets. Some of the features include very very strong anti-aircraft defences based on systems developed in the 1940s and the key feature of this new German battleship is its unique set of guns. They're small calibre, high rate of fire, with very good accuracy, and also coming armed with torpedoes, but unlike most German battleships, it doesn't have access to hydroacoustic search. So I must add, this is a work in progress. So let's take a quick look at the ship's complete stats starting with its armor layout and survivability. The upper fore end plating 32 millimeters. This section, we have an icebreaker bow of 70 millimeter. Deck section is 50. Main belt armor. The main belt armor is 350 millimeters. Submerge sections of 275. The upper casemate is 50. The main deck is 50 millimeters. And here at the stern, the aft end deck is 50 millimeters, and then a tiny strip of 32 millimeter. And again, reinforced lower end aft end armor belt of 70 millimeters. So the armour is quite nice. Plating on the superstructure is 19mm and the gun turrets frontal plate of 360 side platings of 250mm top plate 180 and a curved rear plating of 350 There's an additional slope section here at the rear that's also 290 millimeters. So the gun turrets get quite decent protection. And if we look at the internal armor, we can see sloped internal turtleback armor. The Atbar chip is 200 millimeters on the bow and it's the same 200 millimeters at the stern. Look at the actual citadel is submerged all under the waterline well protected by turtleback armor that sloped internal armor. So looking at the survivability 85,800 hit points and a torpedo protection damage reduction of 27%. Now I must add, let's quickly look at the upgrades as I have adjusted the build. So I've gone with a full tank build and mobility, a full tank, main battery reload, steering gears, main battery accuracy, and concealment, five repair parties, get access to a choice between a fighter and spotter aircraft, and unlike German battleships as already mentioned, no hydro, but you do get defensive fire. Now this ties in to the torpedo protection damage reduction because I am using vigilance Starting with Gun Feeder, Vigilance, Basics of Survivability, Adrenaline Rush, and then a stated Full Tank, Emergency Repair Expert, Concealment Expert, and Fire Prevention Expert. Tying in, just to explain, and if all these stats are based on this build. So let's go and look at the main battery. Four quad mounted 305mm guns. 
Now with this build they have a 22 second reload, a turret traverse of 34.5 seconds for 180 degrees, max dispersion of 216 meters, a max firing range of 22 kilometers and these 305 millimeter guns have a sigma of 2.05. Firing high explosive that can inflict a max damage of 3600, fire chance of 27%, 76 millimeters of armor penetration with a shell speed of 865 meters per second. Armor piercing rounds can inflict a max damage of 9400 with the exact same shell speed of 865 meters per second. We come to the secondary armament, also quite decent. Now remember, I am set up purely for tank and not building towards the secondaries. Mecklenburg gets 24 128mm guns in 12 twin mounted turrets. They have a 4 second reload time, a base firing range of 8.7 kilometers. They can inflict a max damage of 1500. These are high explosive shells. They have a 5% chance of setting the target on fire. 32 millimeters of penetration, which is quite good. And a shell speed of 900 meters per second. So all in all, quite decent. Mecklenburg also gets access to torpedoes. Two X4 launchers, one on each side. Turret traverse time of 6 seconds for 180 degrees. These torpedoes have a reload time of 90 seconds. 6 kilometers in range, they can inflict a max damage of 13,700 with a torpedo speed of 64 knots. And these torpedoes can be detected at 1.3 kilometers. The submarines are returning, so Mecklenburg also gets access to the depth charge airstrike. Two available flights, one aircraft per strike, dropping three bombs, that can inflict a max damage of 2,700 and a max firing range of 11 kilometers, and the reload time is 60 seconds. So as stated earlier, Mecklenburg has quite strong AA defenses, 12 twin mounted 30 millimeter, four quad mounted 30 millimeter, eight single mounted 55 millimeter, four twin mounted 55 millimeter, and the secondary battery all double up the 24 128 millimeter. So quite a few AA guns in total. Now, what really stands out is the continuous damage is 430. Eight shell explosions that can cause a max damage of 1600 and 10. And the max firing range is quite unusual for German ships, a quite strong six kilometers. And remember, it also gets access to the defensive fire consumable. 50% boost to damage, continuous damage, and 300% boost to the shell explosions. Quite a long action time, 40 seconds, and a reload time of 80 seconds. And so we come to the Mecklenburg's maneuverability. A base speed of 32.5 knots, we can increase this to 34.1 with the Sierra Mike signal flag. Turning circle radius of 930 meters with a rudder shift time of 14.1 seconds. So finally, stats wise, we come to the Mecklenburg's concealment rating of 43, which equates to its surface detection range of 13.9 kilometers. 10.4 by submarines and the same for enemy aircraft. A quite interesting new addition, Mecklenburg has just entered testing. I hope you all enjoyed this quick little preview of the upcoming tier 10 German battleship Mecklenburg. Now I must add this ship has literally just entered testing so what we're looking at in this video is an initial look at the ship stats. We can expect this to be balanced during testing, but this is the starting point. 
quite interesting looking German battleship. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.